Hi, I'm Sarah Hyland, and this is Lady Parts, a show that helps women get to know themselves and their bodies a little better. Let's face it, vaginas can be confusing. We were just handed these things one day, and there was no instruction manual included. It's like handing someone an old clock radio and saying, I don't know, sometimes it'll make noises and stuff, but it works. Honestly, what the hell is going on down there? Let's find out. Here to discuss is our Lady Parts OBGYN, Dr. Sherry, and today's guests, rapper Saweetie and actress slash the real co-host, Adrian Baylon Houghton. Hi, ladies. I'm okay, Hello. Hello. First things first, let's talk about getting to know your vagina. Do you ever look at your vagina in the mirror? All the Absolutely, time. all the or time, right? Yeah. I'm concerned if you don't know what your vagina looks like. Like, I'm talking compact mirrors that I'm like, oh, well, let's just see what's happening. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> I remember when I got my first camera phone when I was 13 years old, my first cell phone, I immediately went to the bathroom to take a picture of my vagina so I knew what it would look like down nice. there and then deleted it immediately. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So I have a fun game that I would like us to play where we draw our vaginas. Just, you know, the essence of your vagina. I can't even draw a stick figure. How Girl, can I'm I such a bad drawer draw as well. such a piece of art? While we're all drawing, what do you guys like the most about your vagina? Like, what trait is your favorite and such? She talks a lot. <laughs> she talks a lot? <laughs> I feel like I've taken really good care of her. So at this point now she's bougie and very high maintenance. I know that's right. I think she's spoiled to be honest. I gotta say, my husband definitely spoils my vagina. That is a good man. And you're a lucky woman. Thank oh, God. Gosh. I'm so bad at drawing. This is so bad. This is, no, mine is literally, this, I just spent all that time just doing this. This is as far as I've gotten so far. Okay, so this is mine. She's full of love. She talks a lot. Yes. And she's mm. nice and, and um, um, wet. Wet. <laughs> you have talent over there. So my vagina likes the water and the sun, and those two things make it very happy. <laughs> my vagina's very small, but she's full of love. And she got her New York hoops on. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Th Look at this that is queen. The worst thing. That was, she's happy with her tongue out. Like, ha, 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 that's the personality of my vag. She like, ah, yes, let's get it, let's get it. Then she, this is my clip, which has a little crown on it. It's very happy. Oh my God, that's it's amazing. It's raining. And then there's love on top. She, it, it, I got my love put on top. Cue the Beyonce song. I know, that's right. Would you guys ever try the jazzling? I've never heard or tried that. I want to see what that looks like. You remember how people used to bedazzle bandanas? Uh -huh. It's pretty much that in any decoration that you want, but down there. Well, you know I'm an icy girl, so I, I love to see it icy down there. And it lasts. Like, I guess it has the adhesive is on some other level, so it lasts. Like, it'll stay throughout your showers, and it lasts for, like, maybe a week. Dr. Sherry, do you think it's safe to vajazzle your vagina? Absolutely. You have to go to someone that knows what they're doing. A good vajazzle on... Let's say on Valentine's Day, could be a nice, sweet treat. Oh, Dr. Sherry. Oh. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think about the j and have you ever got one? <gasps> I have never. I've, I've been looking for a j -shulist. I think it's really important, especially for girls who have, you know, curly hair like me. Sweetie, I know what you're talking about. If you're shaving and the ingrown hairs and then people pick the ingrown hairs, then you end up getting scarring and dark spots, hyperpigmentation a vajayshul can for sure help that situation. What is the medical term for that, doctor? What's that area, that the, the front part? Yeah, the front part. You're talking about the vulva, right? The vulva. The vulva. I always would say if you take care of your vulva and you cleanse, hydrate, moisturize, just like your face, you probably wouldn't need necessarily to worry about ingrown hairs and some of these other things. I. I'm sometimes a little worried about these trends and they can be kind of costly too. Even with waxing, I've been waxing for like the past like six years and I still get unfriendly ingrown hairs. Laser is the answer. I agree. I got it done one time and it was it was it was fun and it, it disappeared, but then I wasn't able to keep up with it because of quarantine. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Do not try to wax your own lady parts at home. I do not <laughs> recommend it. Back in the day, I will never forget, I got one of those 
Sally Hansen microwavable Brazilian Oof. wax kit. I laid one area. It's one of those that didn't need the paper. Like it hardens as soon as you put it on. Yo, when I tell you it was time to now rip it out, I ripped one time and could not do the rest. I sat in my bathroom on the floor and was like, whoo, girl, whoo, you could do this. You, I couldn't inflict the pain on myself. I couldn't do it. Just like hard waxed hoo-hahs on the bathroom floor. <laughs> and once it's on, you have no choice but to pull. Do not do that to yourself. Dr. Sherry, can you please give us a Kegel routine to perform right now? The easiest way to identify your Kegels is while you're peeing, you, you start the flow, you hold it for three to five seconds, one 1,000, two 1,000, let the flow go a little more, hold it three to five seconds, and you ideally want to do, you know, five reps of 10. You want to do 50 a day. That's going to be the best thing, and you can do them. Like you said, Sarah's doing it, I'm doing it. We probably all could do it. We could do 10 reps right now. I feel like my shoulders come up when I do it. Like, I look stiff. Your vagina dance makes your shoulder dance happy. Yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> like, <laughs> ah, okay. You feel it, you feel it. <laughs> Get some Fosse in there. <laughs> wow, this is a weird question, Dr. Sherry, but I just wanted to ask you, if you are an adult and you still have wet dreams, what does that mean? It just means you are a wildly creative and lucky woman. Are you a Cancer? Scorpio. You are! No, I'm a, I'm, I knew it! Sweetie, you're a Cancer? I'm a Cancer. I'm a Scorp Sag Cusp. Water signs. That's what it is, so what? I'm gonna make a song about that. I'm gonna make a song about that. You should, <laughs> water signs. I'm telling you, water Pisces, signs. Scorpio, and Cancers, they say that, they're, that they end up being like phenomenal at oral pleasure. Well, I ain't gonna argue with that girl. <laughs> Have you guys ever tried like a jade egg? What is that? It's a little egg made of some jade crystal. Put it on up there. It can help with your pelvic floor. I knew someone that used to go about her day with a jade egg inside of her all day long. Her man is very happy. <laughs> That's true. There was one time she was just standing there. We had been drinking, yes. I noticed on the ground there was the, her jade egg. It just fell out and she had no idea. And I go, girl, your egg is on the floor. You better pick that up. <laughs> she had some kind of strength mm -hmm. to hold it up there all all day. Maybe not all day. Maybe I'm exaggerating. A few it hours? was at least four hours though. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it just fell out. And I'm like, did you not have underwear on, girl? Did you not feel you did not feel your jade egg fall out? What is happening? Dr. Sherry, how long is it safe to have a jade egg up there? I like the idea of putting something in there to help you focus on strengthening your pelvic floor muscles. The jade egg, I mean, I think you gotta not keep it in longer for 30 minutes. It does help you focus on contracting your pelvic floor. Especially after people have children, I feel like all my girlfriends who have had kids, after they have kids, they're like, I literally can't laugh or sneeze without peeing on myself. Mm -hmm. So this definitely strengthens those muscles. It's like your Kegel exercises, yeah. but like a whole other level. This is, this is, you gotta hold something up there. Sweetie's world is changing right now. It is a whole new world that I can't wait to discover. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Sherry, what is a vagina supposed to smell like? Definitely has, you know, sort of a, a tangy, coppery smell. Your diet can affect the smell because it affects your pH balance. Oh, that means it's time for another refreshing fact from Refresh. To quote Outkast, I know you like to think your sh don't stink but sometimes it will. Luckily, products like Refresh Odor Eliminating Gel can help maintain a healthy vaginal pH, eliminate feminine odor, and relieve feminine discomfort. So let's talk about orgasms. What do you think about orgasms? Have you ever faked an orgasm? I think when I was younger, definitely wasn't having orgasms off of penetration. And I think it depends on the guy's, um, the curvature, yes. so to speak. Great word. Because, yes, you get what I'm saying? There are the mm -hmm. ones that are like curved and they go tap, they tap, tap, tap in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and when they tap, tap, tap in, 
then it happened. Yeah. And I did not know that that even could happen. So that has been an amazing discovery. I think it depends on the curvature for me, for mm -hmm. the penis to find the inside G spot. I wasn't that active when I was younger, but as I got older, I remember like the second person that I was with, I was like, wow, they all don't look the same. <laughs> Shocking, right? <laughs> I'm like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> oh my gosh. What are the chances that on any given day if, for you to orgasm, do you think it's like a 10 out of 10, a six out of 10? I feel like I'm grateful for foreplay. And I think that when yes. you have somebody that really enjoys foreplay and that's how they get turned on is foreplay and watching them please you. In my marriage for the most part, it is, I would say a nine out of 10, which is pretty yes, damn girl. good. I have go-to thoughts. Oh, nice. Sweetie, so, you have go-to thoughts, like things you, you ah! think about. You got that backlog. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes, girl. Um, I would say I'm definitely, um, I have a cheat code, so I would say a 10 out of a 10. A cheat code? Yes, girl. I'm a very extracurricular activity type of person, so there's always some type of assistance helping me get to where I need to go. <laughs> I love Are it. Are you talking about a vibrator? I hope it's a vibrator. <laughs> and what's crazy is I discovered these, this thing because I remember I was dating someone and we had broke up and I'm just very like selective. So I was like celibate for a really long time and I'm just like, what am I going to do? And that's how I discovered, you know, certain stores that, you know, fulfill your needs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I love that you were celibate and that you took that time to discover yourself, you know? Yes. That's, that's so important. As I got older and, you know, I am in a relationship right now and I feel like when you're grown and you're mature, you are able to tell your partner what you need and they're able to tell you what they need. Always communicate no matter what. Thank you so much, guys. This was a lot of fun talking to you about our Fosse Kegel dance numbers. Yes. Um, thank you so much for joining us. I'm so happy to have you. And Dr. Sherry, thank you so much for filling us in on all of your amazing vaginal insight. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Thanks for joining us. Remember to tune in next week for the show's literal climax. It's an episode about female erogenous zones. <laughs> <laughs>